Hey guys, it's Nefta. Um, I told you that I was going to show you how to put all of these gangers that I showed you in the last one. Dear Lord. I'm going to show you how to put all of these in. And I'm going to... I'm going to start with um, some of my favorites, these. There are a lot of... Hmm? I think these are a lot of fun to wear. And they're, very <laughs> and they're very easy to put in. I'm going to stab them in the eyeball with one. It's probably going to be the right one, like always. Yeah, probably. But, um... Mmm, stop! <laughs> so the way you t I can't even, like, look at what I'm doing. The way you take this one out is this back. Just remember, like a mirror, your movements are inverted. Yeah, but this back, um cone unscrews. So I'll show you guys that. Just just really easy. Just comes off like that. It's so cute. And then you can just pull it out. See? Now it's up. And I'm just gonna screw the cone back on the end so I don't lose the cone. Because that would be bad. Cause that, these are like my favorite. These are my absolute favorite earrings that I have right now. I actually really like the ones I have. Yeah, the ones he has in are really cool too. But with this one, all you do, I have to find the ear hole. Hang on. See? Yeah, it's his. They're just a thick black horseshoe shaped one like mine, but it doesn't have a cone. It just has the two black stoppers. A little uh, stopper ring. Mm -hmm. It comes with two. But all you do is, I'm not very good at finding the ear hole yet without looking, but all you do is slip it through and just keep going until you'll, you have it in. And normally I just, I aim for the yellow part. I think I went a little bit past it, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, the highest it goes is an eight. And it's, like it's... eight, two or something? Yeah, it's similar... It's, it is a taper spiral, so it starts off thinner. Hey, cat, you can, no, stop it. So it starts off thinner at the, at the end and becomes thicker as you move it up. So that's how you put that one in. And they're really cute. I really like them. I don't know if you can see them. But yeah. And then when you want to take them out, you just slide them on up. And then, what do I want to show you guys next? Maybe I'll show you guys some studs. They're really simple. Um, a little stud. That's it. That's all it is. So all you do is you take one of the stopper rings off. And you can adjust the other one to however far you need it. And you just shove it in your ear. And then you put the little stopper on the back. What you have to do is you'll have to hold the front of it while you're putting the stopper on the back so it doesn't slide out the front. And that's it. And it's just a little stud. It's all cute and tiny. I've got a few of those. I think I've got like three now. Or four, including the screw-on ones. Because those are studs too. But with these, these are really simple. You just pop the washer back off. And something I want to tell you guys is that if you decide to... These are really helpful. After you've had taper... Like after you put in a taper and you're gauging up, when you put that taper in and you get it to the, the end where you want... Where your next gauge is... You leave the tapers in for a little bit, and then um, once your ears, you know, stop feeling so tender, you can um, stick studs in because they're easier to sleep in. So you can stick these in and leave them in for a couple days, and your ears will be caged up. Snap. But yeah, but all, all of the ones that I'm showing you today are my gauge. They're eights, and that's probably as high as I'm going to go. 
Um, and I mean these these are pretty much the same as the spirals. Same concept, you just stick this in your ear hole and feed it through. Uh, it's just a cute little pink design in your ear. I don't even know if you guys can see. I'll try to get close. But yeah, it was really cute. And I mean, there's a bunch of different ones you can get. Two really weird ones. Yeah. You just slip it out, and that's it. What else should I show you guys? Maybe I'll show you guys a taper. I'll get the blue one. But this this is a taper. It starts off very thin, and then it goes to the go uh, gradually goes up to the gauge. That way, it's not as brutal to your ear. Because if you try to, um, when you're when you're gauging up, if you try to just you know shove a stud in your ear, or um, th like this one, this one does not gradually go up. It's just it unscrews and it's automatically an eight. Just do not do that to yourself because you might bleed, and it will be it could potentially become very irritated from you know just the sudden gauge. But, um, so with this one, you take one of the little black stoppers off. And the thing that I did is I used to, I would do it really slowly. I would just, you know, shove it until it stung. Because it, it does sting. But yeah. And then it shows behind. And they're a bitch to sleep in. Um, some of them are. Some of them are very, very difficult to sleep in. I don't know if you... I can't see, so... Tell me if I'm in... Huh? Not blue. Can you see? It's, it's blue. But yeah, and then you just... And then you just stick the other washer back on and it'll keep it from sliding around. They are a bit difficult to sleep in just because they're pointy. And they, um... If they rest in the right spot, they're okay. But some of them are either too long or too short and they will stab you in the middle of the night, which is why, you know, it's better to gauge up, like, during the day and leave them in for a few hours and then, you know, you can switch mm. to studs at night. Well, you do not want to just gauge it for a few hours and go to sleep because it will shrink again. No, no. No, gauge up with a taper for and wait for a few hours and leave the taper in. And then you can take the taper out and put a stud in. That's the new gauge that you wanted. Like, say I was a, um... Shit, I was a 10, and going up to an 8, I could put this in, leave it in for a few hours, and then take this out and put an 8 gauge stud in. And then I could sleep in them, and they're, they're a lot more comfortable. But the trick is to just wait until your ears do not sting or feel overly sensitive anymore. Um, these. I love these. I love these a lot. I like them. They've got they're white with little green specks, but they are so difficult to get the washer back on. Mm. For me, it is because it, it's got a little it, lip. Yeah, it's got a little lip, and while it's in my ear, it's so difficult for me to put it back on. I don't know why. It's just the most difficult thing for me to do. But yeah, and these, these are very annoying. Just because they don't give you enough room to screw back on the back. But yeah. And then I'll show you guys how to put these back in. So you just, again, unscrew a little cone on the end. I got the little cone. Put it down. And then, and see, it's just, it's got the part where the cone screws on, and then it's just straight up eight gauge. So, let me just find your ear. Oh, it's actually kind of hurt now. There we go. 
It's just because it also has like a lip because it's very tiny where the where it screws back on. It's a sharp edge and a soft spot. Yeah. And then you just screw the comb back on. And they're in. Can they see? Yes. Okay. So those are back in. And those are definitely my one of my like my favorite ones. I think it's a I, I wear these like all the time. These are my go to. But I also really like these just because they're really easy to put in. The thing about these though, the um I think like the first or second time I wore them, my ears were still really sensitive because I had recently gotten them done. And so what my ears would try to do is they would try to shove them out. So <laughs> I almost lost one twice in the same day because my ear would push them out. But yeah, so that's how you put in these kind of gauges. Or these kind of like plugs and spirals and just you know these cool little design looking ones and then you got the horseshoes that I put in so that's how you do those and it's, it's very simple it's just kind of similar to any other earring but with me I'd never had my ears pierced before ever ever and then I was 19 and got engaged I like it I, I liked the method of gauging better because when somebody pierces your ear they don't use a hollow needle it's just a needle so they shove it through your ear and it pushes the skin apart apart so basically whenever you go to the mall to get your ears pierced and they break out that little plastic piece of gun see but how do you clean that needle no you don't it's don't, in a gun they don't, they don't have a needle in the gun they use the stud and puncture your ear with it oh no no that's weird that's why you you always go to a tattoo shop where yeah. there are professional piercers. Yeah, this dude that I, that I went to, he was awesome. He was amazing and hilarious. And, uh, but he was hilarious. And um, he, he was very nice and very patient. But I mean... Really, really nice guy. Yeah, he was. What was I about to say? But that's all he did. That's all he did was piercings. Yeah. That's it. He didn't do tattoos. Didn't do anything else. Ooh, pretty. But... I have ADD, I'm sorry. <laughs> but piercings, that's all he did. So I go in and you know, he, and the act of gauging is a little different because the needle they use is a hollow tipped needle. So it's, it's hollow. So what it does is it removes the skin instead of pushing it away. He keeps trying to show me things online. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, um, I thought it was, like, because I'd never had my ears pierced, never had any, like, I've never had anything pierced. Um, and I thought it was really going to hurt. Like, I thought it was going to just be the most painful thing. I don't know why. But, um, you know, I, I wanted to do it. I, I wanted my, I wanted some gauges. I really, I really like them. I like the way they look. And so I did it. And we went in and, you know, he sat me down and he, um, he rubs alcohol on your ear. And everything's just very sterile. It's a brand new needle. You know, brand new everything. They um, these are not what I started out in. The ones that he, um, because they have you, like you can bring your own in, but they feel it's better to use the ones that they have because they use surgical steel um, earrings, mm -hmm. and they will not irritate your ear, nothing, because they're surgical steel. So they they're hypoallergenic. You know, they're not going to irritate anything. They're not going to cause any um, breakouts or hives or anything you're not going to have any allergic reactions to it because it's surgical steel and um and it was they're called captive bead rings and so it's just it's kind of almost a closed circle it's got this little area where this little bead goes and i think that was that was like the main issue with mine is that he couldn't get that bead to fit in properly and clamp down he couldn't get a grip on yeah, he couldn't get a good grip on it, and he was just tearing at this ear, and it was... <sighs> yeah, all of the endorphins were just... Psh, I can do everything. But yeah, but the, like, the needle didn't hurt me at all. Like, I have a very high pain tolerance, but, you know, I haven't experienced any type of piercing before, so I never knew what it would feel like. And, you know, so I thought it was just, you know, really painful, and I go in, and, I'm, and he goes, Psh, I'm like... That was it. Did you do it yet? Really though? Second really? Like, did you even pierce my ear yet? And then he tugged on your like. 
but yeah, like I, I deal with pain a lot different than most people. And um, so he was just ripped. <laughs> she, she deals with pain differently. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so this one, he, he had a lot of trouble getting that bead in and getting it to clamp down on the bead. And he was just, you know, ripping at that ear and, you know, pull, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't trying to hurt me. And, you know, my face started to shake because, like, I had so many endorphins just rushing to the area. But, I mean, it didn't, it didn't hurt. Like, it didn't hurt me. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just I have a really high pain tolerance. Like, I know that it was hurting me, but... It was, not it was enough, to, yeah, not enough to make me, like, flip shit. Like, because if it hurt, I would have probably punched him. <laughs> but no, it, it, like, it never even got close to that point. It was just, I mean, it, you know, it was, you know he, was, he was having to tug on it, and it was new and fresh, and it was just kind of irritating, and I'm like, meh. But the second one was, like, super easy. He was able to get the bead in and clamp down, <laughs> just, pff, like, nothing. But he was hilarious, and he, you do bleed, of course, because you're putting a hole in your body. <laughs> so I did bleed a little. He, well, it doesn't um, last long. And the yeah. thing is, whenever you go in to get your ears pierced, you're supposed to fast beforehand. I did not. <laughs> you're not supposed to have any liquid 12 hours prior to a piercing. That didn't happen with me. It was really on an impulse. <laughs> yeah, it was your birthday. We were out. Yeah. Fuck it, doing the shit. Yeah, we were actually at home, and I'm like... Yeah, I were, eventually I want to get my ears gauged. And she's like, well, I mean, we could go now. I'm like, oh. And I backed that real quick. I was like, yeah, let's go do it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and my, fr my, my, my friends had, my friend had bought me, you know, a bunch of gauges because she knew I wanted to gauge. She knew I wanted to do it. So she bought me some to gauge up and I'll, I'll grab some of them and show you guys. Mystery box. And a lot of them are in, like, the wrong packaging now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, like, what did I start out as? At 14? Yes. Yeah, they gauge at a certain... Yeah, I just got a 14 done. And they gauge up like wire does. Where it's... The smaller the, smaller the number, the bigger the, the, bigger the gauge. Mm -hmm. So 14s are really tiny. And then what you would do is you would... Go up, to a 12. go up to a 12. These are 12s, which I can't. I can't wear them anymore. <laughs> you can. They just yeah. My fall. my ear. Yeah, they'd fall out, and then the holes would shrink, and then I'd have to regauge back up, and it's just a pain. <laughs> and then after the after the 12, you'd go up to a 10, and these tapers were great. Like I loved using tapers to gauge up. Like I told you, I would um, use these. I would put the tapers in. You know, get them up to that point, put the stopper on, and wait until it, you know, my ear had calmed down and it felt better. And then I would stick a, um, a plug in, just a little stud, and then I could sleep in them and it would be a lot more comfortable. Oh, these were some of my favorite. These aren't eights, though. I think these are, what were these? I think these were tens. Yeah, they're not actually eights, I don't think. Pretty sure they're tens. But these were um, tens, and I really loved these. They're horseshoe shaped. I don't know if you can see them, but they're really sparkly and they're horseshoe shaped. And they were really easy to sleep in, and they were really easy to gauge with because they're smaller at the end, and they just gradually went up to that point. So those were like my savior for going to ten. And then going up to eight, I had um, I, I had gotten tapers, but I also had these spirals. These spirals that I love so much. I had those. And so I was able to use those to gauge up. But it, <laughs> at one point... Um, what it happened was... Yeah, one of the um, the studs that I have, they're acrylic. And um, apparently they're painted and they weren't like... That's not the color of the acrylic. It was painted. So it started chipping off into my ear. So I needed to take them out. I couldn't you know, just have, them, have the paint chipping off into my ear hole. <laughs> it's just weird. So I took them out and I left them out that night and I was going to put some different ones in the next morning but I completely forgot and had to like rush to work 
And so, the fuck. But, um, these were my lifesavers with that because they're so small at the end that I, I was able to slip them in and just gradually throughout the day work them up to where I needed them to be. And when I got them up to yellow, I was an eight. So then I could put, you know, eight gauges in. And that's where I wanted to be is at an eight gauge. And I also wanted to show you guys these 12 gauges that I have. I wasn't actually able to wear them when I was a 12 gauge though, because they're a lot thicker at the base than they appear. But they're really pretty. Like and they're winged. Later, like 12s. Yeah, they, they say that they're 12s, but no. no. They're not actually 12s, they lie. So that, that's my story on gauging and they're really easy to clean it's just you know because you have to leave your the ones that they pierce you in for, you know you can leave them in for like a month and clean them with peroxide you know in the morning and at night and it's just real simple and you can you know because you'll put some in the front move it through you know mess mess with it a little put some on the back move it through with peroxide and it, it cleans it out really well and moving it around really helps it to not like scab closed it's going to when you go to sleep well yeah but it's it's not as bad when you put peroxide on because it like kind of removes the scab so you can move it through because you don't want them to scab up completely around the earring because they're trying to like grab the earring so you don't want them to do that completely or you'll have to completely remove them along with the scabs yeah and that's just that's not a good thing <laughs> But yeah, they're real easy to clean, they're really easy to take care of, and mine healed really quickly. Mine healed really quick and I was able to go to different different earrings, which I was really excited about. And really excited about gauging up. So I went up... So was it 14, 12, 10, 8? So I went up like three levels of gauge, or four. Something like that. I don't know, can't count. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I liked it. I liked the process better. It was it was better for me. It might not be better for everyone. So just definitely, you know, you you know your limits. You know what you can handle. Um, these are really simple. If you don't like a stinging sensation, do not get gauges. <laughs> Cause, your first. Yeah, because I mean it does sting, but it it for me it really wasn't that bad because I have a really high pain tolerance. But um, engaging up, you know, it stings because you're stretching it. You're stretching the hole that's already there. So it it does sting a little, and so doing that a few times, you know, you kind of get used to it. But you know, tapers make it really easy, and you can do it a little and stop while it stings. Wait a second, do it a little more, and it, it just makes it really easy. But yeah, and now he's gonna tell you his experience because he didn't have such a good experience. I can't move the thing. Um, let's see. I had first gotten my ears pierced whenever I had gotten into seventh grade, I think it was. Way younger than I did. <laughs> yeah. But the first time I got my ears pierced, it went fine. Well, ear pierced. I got one pierce, and it was a stereotypical one. And, uh, then I was like, why don't I just even these up? Went in, and, uh,. Got it pierced again, and unfortunately, I was dumb enough to get mine done with a gun. Now, a gun is in no way what you want whenever you get your ears pierced. You always want a hollow needle at a tattoo shop. Yeah, because they, they don't use a gun. What they do is they have the hollow needle. It's a really long needle, and they have um, this little black tube that catches it when it goes through your ear. So they put that at the back of your ear, and they just shove it through really quick. They just use their hand and just shove it through your ear. So it really quick. And it was it really wasn't painful. But anyway, keep going. And um so whenever I went in to get my second piercing on my right ear. Yeah. On my right ear. I had jerk because the last time it happened, it hurt because the lady had to push it the rest of the way through because the gun had like jammed or something. So I basically had a stud in my ear that wasn't all the way through. Oh, God. 
So the last helmet was done properly because it had a high pressure ear gun. Mm -hmm. And it went through, but it jerked. So now I have this little ball of scar tissue on the back of my ear. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I, for some reason, I decided that joining ROTC was a good idea, which it wasn't bad. It got me into a decent shape, but... Uh, couldn't wear. Yeah, I couldn't wear them. I kept losing all my earrings and shit. And whenever I had broken my, broken my leg during that time, they just gave up on me. Hmm. Yeah, they're like, you know, you're going to be a liability whenever you get older. You can't join the military with that. So we're just going to ignore you. So that's what they did, and I stopped doing schoolwork, and eventually they just threw me into a different class. And, um, let's see. After I got another... After I had gotten out of ROTC, on my birthday the next year, we went down to the Inquisitor by where I used to live, and they pierced me real quick, and it was good and clean, and I don't know if I want to do it or not, but they, every time I go in and get my ears done or whatever, they ask me if they want to cut, if, they, if I wanted to cut that scar tissue off, and I just don't know about that. Mm. It didn't really bug me any, except for whenever I put it in them little fucking studs. Yeah, it just makes putting certain things into your ear very difficult. But, um, <coughs> I went in, got him re-pierced, and got him pierced at a 14, mm -hmm. and then kept him like that for, like a while, for, for a long time. Yeah, he recently gauged up with me. Yeah, I, I gauged up with him. I always wanted to gauge up, but I was just like, you know what, screw it. If I ain't got the money to buy earrings, I'm not going to bother. Then we had a bunch of earrings. <laughs> so we gauged up. Yeah, we gauged up. And now we're both at an eight. So we can share. You know, the only thing that she's missing is a tattoo. Yeah, I don't have a tattoo. I do. I want to get a dragonfly tattoo in memory of my grandma. I don't know where, and I don't know what I want it to look like yet. But I know what I want. Kind of. <laughs> Mine was, my, my tattoo was kind of an impulse, but I'm not regretting it. I like it. It is cool. And it's something that you love. So... Say what you want. I like my Xbox tattoo. Yeah. I think I think it's cool. But yeah, but the dude what was it, Karmic Tattoos, where I got mine done? Yeah. He was he was amazing. And because I mean that's all that's all he's done. Yeah, is he had an epic beard. He did. It was great. He had some very manly facial hair. Mm hmm But he, you know, very sweet and he, it was very quick and relatively painless. <laughs> I mean, you're you're putting a hole in your body. It's a little bit painful, but it's not it's not that bad. I promise. But yeah, we wanted to tell you guys that and share our story with you. Of well, his horror story, <laughs> and my my story of good fortune. <laughs> but he's online right now. What are you playing? Uh, Ovi Pets. Ovi Pets on Facebook. It's kind of cool. But we love you guys, and we wanted to show you our gauges, and let us know if you have any questions. Leave us a comment down below, and we will answer them in the next video, or, or we'll reply to you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we love you guys very, very much, and we hope that you guys enjoy our videos, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.